This is Channel 2 News Sunday. Everything you need to know, because anything can happen in New York. Good evening. Reggie Harris has tonight off. Vic Miles joins us. It can make the difference between life and death. Those crucial minutes spent waiting for an EMS ambulance to arrive. Tonight, charges that lives are being lost while ambulances sit in the shop waiting for repairs. Channel 2's Lisa Rudolph reports on accusations of deadly delays and an agency badly in need of repair. Emergency Medical Services, the agency charged with saving lives, is now accused of being crippled by breakdowns. Today's Daily News reporting that despite 105 new ambulances in two years, on any given day, nearly half the ambulance fleet is out of service, lined up outside EMS headquarters waiting for repairs. It's just a bad situation. It's not getting any better. The new ambulances are breaking down as fast as they're coming out. One of the most disturbing findings, chronic breakdowns with the 55 new high-priced Southern ambulances, chocked with high-tech equipment even EMS workers say they don't need, especially if the vehicles don't run. Meanwhile, paramedics are running to emergencies in jeeps that can't transport patients. We could be on the scene for half an hour waiting for an ambulance to then come and transport somebody who might be bleeding to death, and there's nothing we can do. Maintenance problems have contributed to what many believe is now a critical ambulance shortage that in recent weeks several New York City families say has proven deadly. Just this past Friday, 45-year-old Miguel Rivera died after waiting over an hour for an ambulance. It turns out a dispatcher error is to blame. But no ambulances were available in time to save Joseph Weider or Edna Kelly, who died on a night over one-third of the EMS fleet was out of service. We're talking about people losing their lives because they can't figure out how to keep these ambulances on the street. Today, EMS officials blame the maintenance problem on the recent heat wave. In hot, humid weather, uh, where the air conditioning has got to be run, you're going to have air conditioning problems, you're going to have overheating problems. Kerr also apologized for his own assistant, who was quoted as saying overworked EMS workers fake breakdowns to get a rest. I think she was wrong in saying it. EMS officials say the whole maintenance mess should be straightened out in six months when 160 more new ambulances are put in service. I've been listening to this for a year and a half. They always say that in six months everything is going to be fine. In three months, in a year, you know something, it never is. The answer here is for EMS to become a uniform service with the same type of funding and personnel police and fire have. Stein wants top EMS management fired. Meanwhile, EMS sources say a state hearing will soon be held to see if EMS should be run by the mayor's office instead of the Health and Hospitals Corporation. But many are left wondering how many more headlines it will take to keep emergency care for patients and not the agency itself. Lisa Rudolph, Channel 2.